Hi friends, and welcome back to Messy Art Monday. My name is Miss Katie, and this week we're going to be making nature brushes. Nature brushes are just that, things we found in nature and made into a paintbrush. Earlier, Adelaide and I went on a nature walk and we found so many fun things in nature that I think will make very cool marks on paper when we paint. So, first we found these fun leaves, and then we found some evergreen needles, we found a pine cone, we found fern leaves, and look at these, look at that, I think that'll make a very cool design on our paper. We also found these beautiful flowers that are just beautiful. But some of them had died, and so we turned that into a brush as well. So just find whatever you have in your backyard or when you go on a nature walk with your family. And you can use whatever you want, and it's so easy and super fun. Are you ready to get started? Great. First, all you need is a stick. Any stick will do, preferably one that's kind of straight, but bent ones can work too. It can just be a little wonky. It's fun. So first I have my stick, and then I have to decide which plant I want to put on my stick. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I already have a flower and a big leaf and my evergreen, so I think I'm going to make ferns. All right, so we could do this a few ways. We could just take the whole branch of fern and attach it like that. Or you could take each individual leaf off like that and then make a cool brush like that. I think I'm gonna do that. That looks kinda neat. So I'm going to take each little fern leaf and pluck, 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 pluck. All right, I can do this all day. But I think that'll be enough. All right, so you see how many I have? It's nice and full there. Now, hmm, how do you think we could attach the leaves to our stick to make a brush? I think we should use something that could wrap around. Now before you might have saw that I used some tape on one and I think that worked really well. You could also use string to wrap it around and tie, but I couldn't find any string. It's around here somewhere and I'll find it when we're done. We also have rubber bands. Now I found the rubber bands were kind of tricky because to get it tight enough you have to wrap it pretty small with the loop and you can't get that over the big end of the stick and you kind of crush your leaves if you're trying to do that. So I found that kind of tricky. One way you could do it was you could cut your rubber band and that way it's like a rubber string and then you could wrap it around and then tie it. That's another way. But my favorite way, and I think it's so easy peasy, is just using any old twist tie. Now I have a bunch in my drawer, because I love twist ties, they're so handy for so many things. And I just think they're very handy. So if you have a twist tie, that's what I recommend using. But like I said, you can use whatever you want and that you have around your house. So, are you ready? This is so fast and so simple. All right, you see my leaves are all lined up, ready to go, and I'm going to place it, oh, I dropped some, it's okay, I'll just pick them up, there, like it never happened, all right, there, well now that I have it on there, I think it might need a few more leaves, so boink, boink. Boink. There. 
That looks better for me. Yeah, I like that much better. All right, so now I'm going to hold it on my stick like that. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. So there's, make sure there's enough on this end or else they'll just all fall out. So you want it nice. And if your twist tie is big enough, you can wrap it around a couple times to make it more secure. And it also depends on how heavy your leaves are that you're using. So these are super light, so they don't take much at all. And then I'm just twisting my twist tie, twist, 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 twisting my twist tie, twist, twist, twist. There, and that's it. So easy, isn't that so fun? And then you can paint with it. Now you can do like I did and make a lot of different ones because I wanna see how they all work because I think they'll be different and fun. Now, if for some reason you don't have sticks in your backyard, you can just use your nature without the sticks and without making them into brushes but i think making the brushes is super fun so i like doing that now i'm going to see what the different brushes make okay let's see which one should we do first should we do our evergreen first all right i'm gonna take a little dab 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 there we go choop, choop. Well, that's fun. Mm, it's kind of speckly, kind of schmeary. That one's neat. What do you think this one will make? Do you think it'll be low or short? Wide. Look, it's like a little V. Ah. That is a nice, smooth brush. Let's see what kind of brush this one will be. Hmm, that one kind of looks like our evergreen brush, which makes sense because they both have little tiny leaves on the bigger leaves or the bigger stems, so. Now, also, you could just, like I said, just use things you find in nature. So I found this pine cone. So I'm going to, ooh, look at all that paint. Here we go. Sloopity doop. Likes to make little spots on there. Well, that's kind of neat. That's a fun little pattern. Look. Can you see? That's really fun. Now let's see what these make. Oh. They're dancing away from me. Here, let's see. All right. I'm going to put it right there. Well, those are super fun, too. They're kind of like suns. Except for when I move like that. There. Well, those are really neat. And look at all the different ways you can paint with nature. Now, you go on a fun family nature walk and find all the different fun shapes you can see in nature, because nature makes the craziest, most beautiful art. And then you can take it home and make your own beautiful art. Thanks for joining us today. Have a fantastic day afternoon and don't forget next week we're going to be doing fizzy volcano art i wonder what that's gonna be like it's gonna be fun and fizzy all right have a great day